So um, look, training load is really important. That's one thing that VX is uh, really proud of what we've done here. We've sort of uh, taken the normal sort of athlete load and body load and made it much more customizable to the sports. And with sevens, it's such an evolution of the sport with the Olympic uh, being a, a real target these days. We're seeing the physical capacity of athletes just go through the roof. So with that in mind, uh, what we're looking at here is just a day's training now of the power men's team at the Ignite Sevens. Uh, so we've got different metrics here like distance and high speed running, duration, uh, total sprints and body impacts. And they're all things we see a lot of in sevens. So we come up with some, uh, some norms and the, the normal sort of distance covered in the game of sevens is around 1500 meters. And a really high component of that is done at high speed. Uh, once we know what the norms are and we know what the metrics are, we can weight it like a game. So we can say game score is 100. Now yesterday's training was actually 150. And the reason for that wasn't because of impacts, it wasn't because of uh, the distance, or the high speed distance, it was mainly because of the, the duration and the total distance covered. And that's, that's not unusual to train above what match capacity is to get ready for the game. So the second part of what we do now is we don't just look at what the team does as an average, but what each individual does as well. And the reason we do that is trying to plug the holes in their conditioning of elements they may have missed out on. Because just like under training can be, uh, uh, I guess, a risk for the athlete and not getting them prepared, so can overtraining. So overtraining and undertraining can both be risk factors. We're trying to make sure we expose them to the right types of things that they need in their event. So on this screen here, what we're looking at now is their individual load score and how they accumulated, accumulated that load. So they may have scored uh, 100 points, but did they get those points through body impacts or high intensity running? So for every athlete now, we can break it down and see which areas they scored high in and which areas they scored low. And then whilst we're doing those, uh, those games, whether real time or after the session, we can plug those gaps and make sure they're getting the right exposures to reduce the risk and get them performing at the right level.